Jade Haymeister has walked to the North Pole. She's 14 years old. She's back in Melbourne. Didn't muck around. She got straight back to Australia very quickly. She comes from Hampton. She's here with her mother, Vanessa. Jade, morning. Morning. Vanessa, good morning. Good morning. Why aren't you at school? <laughs> you remember the moment in life when you said, I know what I want to do. I want to walk to the North Pole. Um, not really. It was kind of... Um, adventure's always kind of been something that I've loved and it's kind of always been there for me. When I trekked to Everest Base Camp as a family, we were trekking with some pretty cool people and we met um, an Icelandic lady called Villa and she'd done the South Pole solo and I think meeting her kind of inspired me to start thinking about my own polar journey and then like a year after that it was kind of when I actually started talking about doing it and how I would do it. When did you uh, trek to the Everest Base Camp? How old were you then? I was 12. That's not a bad achievement itself, is it? It's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hard. We've been doing a lot of CrossFit to build strength and endurance, and then we've also been tire pulling on beaches and in the backyard. <laughs> um, and then we did the training camp in New Zealand last year. Any time through the 12 days, thought, no, nah, no, nah, let's get out of here. Don't like it. For sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when and why? Um... I was talking about this before with mum. I was thinking that the hardest part for me was going to the toilet. <laughs> we cold? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> was that the problem? Yeah. What did you miss? From home. Um, definitely mum and Kane and my dog, Ava, and my friends. Um, but also good food. Miss yeah. good food. What did, what did you eat? We, ate, we ate dehydrated food. And then for lunch, we had like a chunk of salami that you just had to like... No, because it was frozen. So what did you eat yesterday when you got back? Um, well, we got back late at night. We got back at like midnight, so I had breakfast this morning, which was toast, avocado and goat cheese on toast. <laughs> that sounds all right. And all this, the going to the tour of the rest, hasn't yeah. put you off doing the next two legs of the trifecta? No, no, not at all. We had our Anzac Day service at the pole, at the North Pole. So we like sung the, sung the national anthem and did the ode and a reading. <laughs> That's lovely. It was lovely. pretty special, yeah. Uh, you wore a, a pin too. Yeah, I, I did, yeah. You left it there? Well, we no, were supposed to. You forgot. <laughs> no, we, we ran out of time. Oh, it's okay. actually like, yeah. Okay, so why did you feel that was so important, that Anzac Day had to be, you wanted to commemorate it there? Um, well, every year since I've been born, I've been to the dawn service at the shrine. Um, and this was the first year that I'd missed it, so I kind of felt like I had to do something. Thank you for coming in, Jade. I'd love to talk to you when you've done the trifecta and then in 10 years' time when you're Prime Minister, if you're available. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Congratulations. Right. Thank Terrific. You.